Hi all, hope everyone's happy and healthy. Today we're going to do another drawing exercise and we're going to be looking at one point perspective and how we can use it to draw roads and buildings and things like that. Okay, let's have a go. So we're going to use one point perspective to draw a, a, a road and countryside scene. Um, the first thing you're going to need is an eye line and this as I've said in a previous video represents the level that you're looking at the scene from and because this is one point perspective we're only going to need one vanishing point and that represents where things are going to appear to meet or converge because they're going off into the distance they're getting so small that you can't see them anymore at that point there Okay, and that's all the construction lines I need to start the drawing. I'm going to do the drawing and speed the film up a little bit so you don't have to listen to me rabbiting on as I'm doing it uh, because I don't think you need to because you'll be able to see from the way that the drawing is developing how you can go about it. Okay, so here we go. So there we are, that's uh, one point perspective. You've got a little country road there. Everything is going towards that one vanishing point there. This barn here, the sides of the barn are also going off to this vanishing point here. Now in the real world, everything isn't actually as precise as this. Everything isn't quite lined up as well as this is, but this is a really useful exercise to uh, develop your drawing skills and get depth into your picture. So, it's over to you now. Have a go. You don't have to have the tree and the barn and the, um, the telegraph poles in exactly the same places as I've got them here. Um, to just play around with it, see what you can come up with. Have fun with it. So, there you are. That's how you use one point perspective to develop a scene. Now it's your turn. See what you can come up with. If you're one of my students, if you want me to see your work and give you feedback, then just email it through to me using my school email address. If you're not one of my students, you can use the email address that's attached to the YouTube bio. Have fun. I'll see you soon. Bye.